Hello everyone, the Nerd Medic here and in this video we're going to talk about how uric acid is excreted out of the human body. So uric acid is formed as a result of purine metabolism. Purines are adenine and guanine and when the purine is metabolized they end up becoming uric acid in the body of humans. In other mammals it forms something known as allantoin. So let's keep that story aside for now. Let's focus on the uric acid. Now uric acid, once formed, passes through the glomerular vessels and when it passes through the glomerular vessels, it gets filtered out, right, into the Bowman's capsule. When it passes through the proximal convoluted tubule, in the segment one of the convoluted tubule, it is 100% reabsorbed, right. Then in the segment two of segment two of proximal convoluted tubule, it is secreted. And how much is secreted? 50% of it is secreted. And in the segment three of the proximal convoluted tubule, you will see that 40% is reabsorbed. So the remaining 10% that was there in the segment 3 goes out for excretion. Right. So this rule over here is known as 150-40 rule. Right. Now, we all know that the excretion of renal excretion of anything is a result of filtration minus reabsorption plus secretion right in case of uric acid oh, we get filtration as well as reabsorption and secretion so the filtration over here is 100 percent then 100 percent is reabsorbed then 50 percent of it is secreted and again 40 percent is reabsorbed so finally we get 10 percent which is excreted out. So basically this is the idea of uric acid excretion in humans. This idea is known to doctors as four component handling of uric acid. Four component handling of uric acid in kidney. Right, so this summarizes the idea of uric acid excretion in human body. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers of medical school and do hit the subscribe button so that you never ever miss a video from my channel. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.